guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be our yearly ending video. This is the video I typically start to like fizzle out the year with and we talk about the best products and this year I'm going to combine it and talk about as well as the worst products of 2018. I normally split the video up into two and I don't know why I'm not splitting it up this year. I'm just not. It just was like, let's just have one big old party and <laughs> put it all in one video. Howdy, partner. <laughs> oh, so honka, honka. Oh, so baby right there. This is to distract you. She's beautiful. Girl, I got, I got sleigh bell on my eyes. This is my green look. Oh, she pretty. She pretty. Mm -mm. Yoshi, why are we sniffing everything? It's the same as it always is back there. I'm gonna get some Christmas decor back there, but by the time I get it done, girl, Christmas is gonna be over and done with. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk about good products, bad products, drugstore products as well, and skincare. I'll talk about skincare last, so, last, so if you wanna hang out till the end of the video or skip to the end of the video to hear about skincare, I'll do you. Also, if you don't have time to watch me blabber on forever, you can speed up the video by hitting the little nut and it will say speed and you can go, I do like times 1.5 I think on every YouTube video ever and I'm able to watch a full video in like five minutes. Anyways, uh, spilling that tea to you and uh, that's all I got for you. <laughs> that's all I got for you. So we'll jump right in and we'll go ahead and get started. Let's sing that subscribe song, Heeny. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe. Love you, Laura. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Oh, the first product we're going to talk about is from Scentbird. Scentbird has partnered with me for this video, so thank you so much, Scentbird, for being a partner with me. And what's so funny is I've worked with Scentbird for so many years. If you go way back on my channel, I've been talking about them for a long time. Anyway, so this is Scentbird. It is a perfume subscription. And first, I'm going to show you. It comes in this nice little velvet tie bag. And then let's pop her on out. And then you get the perfume. So it is a perfume. It says Scentbird on it. And what it does is it pops up right here, and you get the little sprayer. Yes, go ahead. So these are great to travel with, great to keep in your purse, or just great to keep on your vanity all together. And they're really cute colors. So then also the vowel, the vial, the vial will pop out. And as you can see, this is, you know the ones you get at the little counters that are like this big. It's not a teeny tiny sample. With Lux perfumes, they're like a hundred bucks. Um, I, by the time I even get like this way done with them, I'm kind of over it and ready to move on to the next perfume. And that's why Scentbird is great because it's 15 bucks and then you get a vial like this, which is a really, really deluxe size. So you get a lot out of it as well. So just to be transparent, I want to show you the full vial and it's the sprayer bottle. To tell you the truth, I take mine out of these and I keep them in a cup in my little perfume section. So that way when I can pull it out, it will tell you the name of the perfume. This one here is Moschino Fresh Couture. And so this one smells really really, really good. Let me get a squirt. Hmm. All the perfumes on their website are designer. You get a 30 day supply. So your scent is supposed to last you for 30 days, which is a total of 120 to 140 pumps. So if you're wondering like how many scents they have to pick from, they have 450 designer perfumes on their website. So kind of like an endless option there of perfumes to choose from. I'm going to show you guys a couple that I've gotten. So this one's the Moschino one I just showed you. And see, I was saying the vowels will come in different little colors so you can put them out on your vanity and they're really pretty. This is the DKNY Be Delicious. I used to wear this one in high school, so a little throwback. And they all come in these cute little bags. Here is the light pink packaging. This is Toka Maya, M-A-Y-A. Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. Oh, and then this one is Juicy Couture Viva La Noir. And this is one of my all time favorite perfumes. Look how cute these are, these are so cute. Also, if you are like, how am I supposed to pick a perfume on the website? If you actually go to their website, they have thousands of reviews under the perfumes, which are very, very helpful for me um, because that way I can kind of get a real idea of what it smells like. And they also have Guy's Cologne as well, so you can get a little something for him if you wanted to do that. This is my scent for the month of December. I've seen, actually, Candy Johnson I saw had this spray bottle on one of her favorites a long time ago, and I never got around to getting the full thing, so I wanted to try it, and that is what led me to picking the Moschino one. The website is scentbird.com, and also just a heads up, they gave me an, a discount code, which is Laura Lee. It is not affiliated, but there is a discount code that you guys can use. And I will have all the information in the description box right down below. 
Moving on to the next product that has been great for me. I want to talk about some foundation. Also, I'm going to be a little bit brief while talking about these products because I have so much to go through. Like, I'm not going to yabber on forever. That way we can get through it, honey, and move on with our lives. <laughs> the first one that I've really been liking this year, by the way, I have a lot that I still like from last year and I use all the time, but I wanted to talk about stuff I really haven't like spotlighted or talked about a lot, but I love so much. So this Milk Makeup Foundation is so underrated. This is the foundation I use for all of my pictures on my shoot day for the Slate Belt collection. I wear this all the time. It deserves more love. And this is the shade Medium. So next up um, is the Makeup Revolution Stick Concealer. This is in the shade F9. This is really amazing. Got a little dewy on me, but super amazing coverage. Really long wearing. If you have dry skin, you will live for this. And then another drugstore one I love. And this is just like a tried and true. I figured I'd mention it to you. This is the True Match from L'Oreal. Super blendable makeup. Um, this one is W6 shade. This is a great medium every day, medium coverage every day foundation. And I don't think it's the most long wearing foundation in the world, but I do think it like looks nice throughout the day. You might have to blot it with a little powder. Um, and it's not too, too heavy. So it looks really just like a nice everyday medium coverage foundation. Also, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to this Fenty foundation because it's sitting right here. This is what I have on today. Actually, I'm in the shade 280. This is a fabulous, fabulous foundation. Really matte really full coverage, blends out beautifully. I love it. So I definitely recommend this to you. Uh, let me talk about a foundation or like two products that I didn't like. Uh, this Super Stay from Maybelline. This did not work out for me. The sponge on the end was weird. Um, I didn't hate it. So I just, I think I liked it actually a little bit. I can't remember correctly, but I think I liked it a little bit the first couple times I tried it. And then the more I wore it, I was like, oh, this isn't really working for me. It was not that much coverage and it got really oily on my skin. So I didn't live for this. However, Maybelline has one of my favorite foundations of all time and that is their matte and poreless. So they have great foundations. This one specifically was a no go. Concealer. This has conceal correction on it. So I think it's supposed to be like a... It says conceal on one side correction. So I think it's supposed to be like a dark circle cover situation. <sighs> Didn't work for me. I actually like their photo finish foundation and concealer a lot, but this stick is just like, no, I mean, both the stick products didn't work for me. But girl, this didn't cover nothing. I'm gonna let her go. She didn't work out for me. That's all right. I got other wet wild stuff that I love, but I don't recommend that to ya. Okay, let's keep the party moving. Foundation brush, let's say it together. Y6 brush from Morphe. <laughs> Yeah, I really, really, really love this brush. Been using it for I think two years now, and you can use my code Larly on the Morphe website. Sometimes people are like, "Oh, you got your code back." I've never not had my Morphe code, so I don't understand where that comes from. Probably someone just said it, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, she doesn't have a code." I don't know. Anyways, just wanted to correct that and say my code has always worked. But anyways, yeah. Uh, Y6 Brush from Morphe, it's really amazing. Flat top kabuki, and I use this to blend out my foundation and concealer, and then typically I will stipple it a good bit. If it does get any brush strokes in it, kind of just pat it as I go, and it leaves with a really flawless finish on the skin. So this is great. It's $9.99, discount with my code. <laughs> Let's talk about mascaras. Go, let me talk about some flops. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This Victoria's Secret mascara. If you did not see my video on Victoria's Secret makeup, I'll link it down below. But girl, we had some misses. We had a few hits as well, but this mascara was very floppy. I'll never use it again. It just did absolutely nothing for my lashes. And I think it was like 14 or 16 bucks. So it wasn't that cheap and it was not great. Uh, another one that didn't work for me and I was like, girl, no, is the Realist. This is, do you remember whenever like everybody reviewed this? This was like that screwdriver weird mascara from Hourglass. Hourglass is one of my favorite makeup brands, by the way, so it kind of pains me to have to say this, but I'm about to keep it 100 with you. This was this is a gimmick. Okay, we're bringing back the word gimmick. This is a gimmick. Uh, it's really expensive, and there's like a two-parter. There's like a primer to it, and then this part to it. No. It's really beautiful, and you could shank someone with it, but uh, that's about all it is good for. <laughs> not a great mascara, but Hourglass has got 100 bomb products to choose from, just not this one, and it's very expensive. So I wonder if they're still selling that. I haven't like heard anything about it. When they came out with it, everybody's like, let's review it, and then it was like, okie dokie dokie artichokey. Next products is primer. So the Tatcha Silk Canvas, this is a little bit pricey. You can get it at Sephora. 
really great primer. All Tatcha skincare and makeup and primer, I just haven't really ran into a Tatcha product that I don't like. I have to say that. Like, it's a little pricey, but you get what you pay for with Tatcha. It's excellent skincare, excellent makeup, and the founder I know puts her heart and soul into the brand, and it shows with the product. So, really love this product, what you can do. It comes with like a little coin where you can scrape it out, but like everybody else, you just rub your little dirty finger in there and rub it all over your face. It's really moisturizing. I think it's somewhat blurring and it makes the skin look really beautiful under the foundation. This has lasted me a very long time as well. So you get a lot of product in here. Um, Another primer that I like. <sighs> Should I be bougie? I like don't like talking about too much expensive stuff because one, I don't want people to feel like they should have to buy it. But at the end of the day, occasionally there are pricey makeups that I do like. So I'm gonna show this with some love. This is the Guerlain, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and the people that work at the company are like. <laughs> but um, this is like their primer beads and I bought these for a video a while back and I didn't quit using them because I loved it so much and it smells so good. It's like a lovely serum primer to put on your face. Yeah, it's great. I love this stuff, pretty sure. I mean, it's probably been talked about on the internet, but I'm unbuttoning my pants right now, by the way, guys, because I just ate hot Cheetos and my stomach's about to explode. <laughs> Was that too DMI? And not like poo poo explode, but like, girl, I'm full. <laughs> that kind, okay? My, my stomach's full. Is a great facial primer if you want to be fancy, darling. <laughs> Also, let's talk about a facial primer that I, oh, let me talk about this one too. Girl, this is awesome, okay? Um, I haven't used that much of it, but I'm getting there. Um, so this is a dramatically different hydrating jelly from Clinique. I used to, when I worked at the dermatologist, all we'd recommend for our acne patients was the dramatically different gel. Well, now they've come out with the jelly, and this one also is supposed to like protect your face from the environment. I love this stuff to put it on before my makeup. I love it, I love it, I love it. I recommend it if you have acne, and you're fighting big pores, you're fighting oil, you're fighting acne. Girl, I hear you, and this is a recommendation from me to you as your facial primer and moisturizer in the morning. Get this, it's awesome. It won't clog your pores and it will protect your skin and moisturize your skin. Facial primer that I do not like is this NARS one. Uh, NARS has a lot of good face makeup. This one was very floppy to me. This is the Radiance Primer and it has like too much glow to it, like way too much glow to it. Like it looks like an iridescent gimmicky highlighter I was putting all over my face and it emphasized my pores. So anything that emphasizes my pores goes very far away from me immediately. <laughs> but uh, it has sunscreen in it. So I did like that about it, but I just didn't like this one. And this is the Radiance one. Just look at that glow. Girl, no. Nah. Let me just rub it all over my hands because it's everywhere now. Put some in my hair too. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. Let's talk about some powders. I didn't specifically have a powder that I hate it at least that's not in front of me. Anyways, this is the Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna beat a dead horse, but this is a really amazing setting powder to bake with. Now, I have recently fell back in love with this powder, so I wanted to talk to, it, to you about it. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Duo Matte Facial. It's like a foundation powder, but I used to use this a long time ago, and now I'm back to using it. It's really great, and sometimes, like, if this is like my blotting situation, which this is a little heavy to be a blotting situation, but I love it like I wear this on top of my foundation lightly brushed on top of my foundation and people will say my skin looks like velvet I've heard it several times and it's the powder that I'm putting on top and this is it so this is a really great product um, it does make your foundation extra full coverage but it's great another bougie product that I love is this La Mer girl what's this actually called translucent sheer press powder. So if you wanted to put something all over your face that wasn't a foundation part, powder and not as heavy, this would be it. Also bonus, it smells so good. Ooh, it smells like perfume, but like a light clean perfume. It's like a scent bird La Mer clap. No, I'm kidding. Um, but it smells so good. And this is a really light translucent powder, but it doesn't turn your face white. So love this. My mom is sending me a picture of my, Le my, Lise, my niece Lisa in a Christmas choir. And it's so cute. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I never told you about the mascaras that I did like. How rude of me. Uh, two mascaras that I love. There's also some drugstore ones. Shoot, they're all the way over there. The L'Oreal Paradise one was one of the best, um, but these two are like 
girl, am I right or dies? I think I talked about this one a little bit in the Victoria's Secret uh, video. Video, yep. Uh, this is the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. It is so good. It's like a sticky mascara, so it like will really like lift your lashes. So if your lashes grow downward, that will be your saving grace. Now this one is a very volumizing mascara. It makes my thin wispies look full, like super full. This is the Grandiose Extreme from Lancome. It also has this funky little wand that I actually like a lot. So it's like whoop, and I just put it on like this. I have this one on today, and it coats the bottom lashes really well as well. Um, moving right along. Highlighters, let's talk about highlighters, girl. Uh, I'm just gonna say Sugar and Spice is our best-selling loose highlighter, and it's the one I wear all the time. Every time I highlight, it's like blinding on Instagram. People are like, what is that? It's always this, I'm telling you guys, like it's crazy. This is our bestseller. Um, so this is kind of like the rosy gold one that we came out with. And I just want to show you guys. The way the light hits these is like insane. This one specifically is like nuts. Wow. And I love it so much. That's why I created it because I love it, of course. And then the next highlighter I want to talk about is a new one from Lunar Beauty. So this is the Greek Goddess Highlighter Palette. And the one I actually have on today is Muse, which is this golden shade right here. Look right there. Look at this zit that needs to get off my face. <laughs> um, anyways, this is really pretty. So you get like a pinky shade, you get two bronzy shades. This is like champagne and then a really light shade. So you get a really nice arrangement and these are very creamy, very blinding and I love the packaging, girl. Really pretty though, and congrats to Manny and Lunar Beauty for this palette, it's amazing. Um, and then another one, another one, another one, another one. I guess that was my only two highlights I wanna talk about. Girl, I'm just plugging stuff now. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about palettes. Um, first, I'm gonna talk about face palettes and then I'll talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I'll talk about the one I didn't like um, and I'm so freaking sad I didn't like this one. This is the CoverGirl Peach Highlighter Palette and I'm so sad to say that these just kinda blend into nothing. It's really crazy. This was, yeah, it smells like peaches. I dropped it. It's a really cute palette and the colors they put in it are so pretty. But whenever I went to blend the highlight, here's the highlight. It was nothing. And then the blush, it was weird. It like blended into nothing. And then the bronzer, it's just there was no pigment in the powder, in the powder, yeah, that's right, in the palette though. And I don't recommend it to you. So um, here's some facial products that did work for me. This is the Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Ablaze Face Blush and Bronzer Palette. This one's really nice. I think I like this one so much because they put peach in it and that's my favorite to wear. But just wanna show you guys, the highlights are gorgeous. And yeah, everything in this palette is great. Only thing I don't really use is this shade right here. This is a little bit deep for me, but everything else is great in this palette. So definitely recommend. Um, Morphe, this is the best blush palette I think I've ever seen in my life. So this is their uh, 8W blush palette. Hello, all peaches. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Um, and you can even use these as bronzy shades, but these are so pretty. Honestly, this is a complete and total dupe for Orgasm by NARS. This is literally the exact shade and it's called witty like hello orgasm by nars sitting right here on my finger like seriously and look how pigmented they are really gorgeous so i love this one and oddly enough i use sweet it's like a light peach shade to diffuse out other blush colors so if i put on a little bit too much blush i'll put sweet on top of it and it diffuses it out so this is a really great palette and then Too Faced done done me right, y'all. i love this palette from Too Faced. they killed it it has two highlighters this bronzer I use a lot, and I actually use this Dusty Mauve blush shade a lot. Love traveling with this. I feel like this is like old school Too Faced, the good stuff right here. This is an excellent palette, and I can actually use the blush highlight and bronzer in this palette, so it's like an easy thing to pull out and just use them all. This is the natural face palette. 
Boom. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I already did a full video of eyeshadow palettes I love and ones that were like the worst. I will also link that down below because I did like just did a dedicated video about eyeshadow palettes I didn't like. So I feel like if I talk about them again, we're really beating a dead horse and it's unnecessary. But here is an eyeshadow palette that I think is just super affordable and just really worth your money because the pigment in this is insane. So this is the Wet n Wild. This one is the Rose in the Air palette. Palette. If you see it, get it, you will enjoy it. And it's got such a nice arrangement of colors so you can get a full look out of this little baby palette right here. Um, yeah, I love her. So actually this looks like the bigger version of this palette. But I was gonna talk about this too and I'm like looking at it, I'm like, Laura, you like the same palette. <laughs> it looks the exact same. But if you guys remember my Fashion Nova video where I did a full face of Fashion Nova makeup, uh, this was the palette that I used. I was shocked with the quality of this palette right here. Like I was truly like, what? What is this sorcery? This is an excellent, huge palette, and for the amount of shadows you get, it is not a bad price. I'm praying to God it's still on the Fashion Nova website because I haven't checked back since I bought it. But if it is, I'll link it down below. But this palette is like, oh, heavenly. I highly recommend it, and you get so many colors and everything blended out like spectacular. Girl, y'all already know I'm gonna talk about my own palette, so y'all be able to sit tight, okay? Uh, so Nitty Patootie, gotta mention her, we launched her in April this year. She is our best-selling palette, and um, yeah. People really um, write me all the time telling me how they use this every day, how they travel with it, how it's their go-to palette, how they're hitting pan on the colors, and it makes me so happy um, and pleased. So yeah, thank you so much for all the love and support on Nitty Patootie. You guys made this a really big year for Larley Los Angeles with this launch, and I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, she's a neutral palette. You already know all about her, so I'm not gonna go on and on, but I love her and I'm really proud of this, and thank you for making it such a hit. Also, uh, Sleigh Bell, we launched this Christmas. That's what I have on my eyes today. Really amazing little palette. The patch is a big punt. Pouches. Punch is a big pow. Yeah, this is my little baby girl we just came out with, so I thought I would shout her out. Um, and then another palette that I've been using a lot is the Sultry Palette from ABH. This is a really great eyeshadow palette. I mean, I've talked about it a lot, so let me not go on and on. I talked about it in my The Best Palette already. It's great. If you like neutrals with one big pop, it's great. That's what I'll say. My head hurts so bad right now, and I'm trying to play it cool like it doesn't, but it hurts really bad. Sometimes if I just tell my headaches to go away, I swear to God, they'll go away. But I just want to claw my fingernails up under my eyes and just like to make my head stop hurting. Um, okay, let's move on, shall we? Uh, I meant to mention this with concealers and I didn't, but this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening. Ugh. I didn't love this. It's supposed to, you're supposed to put it underneath your concealer and like brighten the eyes, but it's really heavy and greasy. And all it did is make my like under eye really heavy and crease. So, I don't recommend it to you guys. It didn't work out. Uh, some concealers I did like is the Maybelline Adri One. Girl, I've been talking about this since I started my channel. It's great, it's full coverage. Got a little ball on the end, you can like out your concealer. But yeah, this one is in shade Fair. And uh, I've gone through quite a few of these on my YouTube career. Now a newer one that I cannot put down and stop using is this Huda Beauty. This is the Overachiever Concealer and um, I use Sugar Biscuit and Cookie Dough. Um, either shade really work for me, honestly. But girl, this concealer has so much pigment in it. I thought the day would never come where concealer would actually cover everything. This. <sighs> It's just like so much concealer, like coverage or pigment in it, it's unreal. But this is like my go-to right or die right now. I've been using this for like a month straight. Okay, we just talked about eyeshadow. I just wanna mention another thing that didn't work for me. This is the MAC Dazzle Liquid. Um, so these are like their cream eyeshadows. My only problem I really had with these, they were more like just chunky glitters once you got them patted out and they creased pretty badly, which a lot of cream eyeshadows do. But these, there's just a lot out there that do work. Um, the more Morphe ones are gray as well as the, what other ones was I Oh, the Cover FX ones are really good too, but this MAC, the Dazzle ones, they're just a little bit chunky, so I don't recommend them to yet. Oh, a highlighter that didn't work for me. This is like my last product that didn't work for me, and we're getting close to like 
being done. We still got a little bit to talk about, but we're getting close. But I want to mention it. This is the um, highlight, jelly highlight from Alme. This is a gimmick. It's pointless and silly, and I guess they're just on trend, you know, with it. I feel you, you know, trying to come out with stuff to be on trend. Girl, what? This is little kid makeup. I ain't trying to use this, but it's supposed to be a unicorn highlighter. It just moves your makeup around and doesn't glow, and whew, is a waste of your time and your life, although the packaging, well, the packaging kind of looks like little kid makeup, too, in a way, but I don't know. That's my opinion. Opinions are like buttholes. We all got one. So there's that. Lashes. My favorite lashes are Lily Lashes Miami. Here is an empty box to show you how much I love them. They're not in the box, but I've worn them in every video I've pretty much ever posted, except for today. I have Batty B lashes on in extra. Okay. Oh, eyeliner. I'm just going to quickly mention this. Tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I think Someone introduced this to me. I can't remember who, but I haven't looked back since. This is a pin felt tip liner, but it dries matte and it's very pigmented. So, ooh, she's a good one. I actually need to go ahead and order a second one because, girl, she ain't trying to run out. Oh, here's that mascara I was trying to tell you about. L'Oreal Paradise. Lash Paradise. Senior Lashes to Paradise. This mascara. Okay, we have a few more. We're almost done with makeup, and then I'll talk about skincare. Um, okay, lips. Uh, first, Jouer's Lip Enhancer. I've been using this for years. The best, like, if your lips are dry, this is the best product you can possibly put on them. Also, it enhances your lips. So using it over time, it's supposed to plump your lips. Yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. Someone commented on my Instagram the other day and said, when's she going to stop getting lip filler? And you know what? I'm like, girl, I ain't got lip filler in like two or three years. I don't know what you're talking about, but if my lip's looking plump, hey! But that is a great product. So a drugstore product that's great for the lips is this CoverGirl uh, Queen Collection Major Shade. <laughs> this one is so pretty. Now, these are more like the creamy NYX whipped. Uh, look, girl, look how pretty that is. They smell divine, and this is in the shade. What shade are you? I don't know what shade this is. It literally doesn't say. 2707s, what it says on the bottom. Oh, it's called Insider. <laughs> Found out the shade, Insider. So freaking pretty. I live, breathe, and die for this. Uh, yes, please. I leave um, the Fenty Mademoiselle in the red shade is one of my favorite red lippies to wear if you're curious about a bright color, but those are like my everyday ride or die liquid lips. Um, okay, let's move on to some skincare. Ooh, who wants to talk about skincare, girl? I'm gonna mention this. I mention it every year and why stop now? <laughs> this is the Super Mud from Glam Glow. I literally had this on my face last night because it's breaking out a little bit. Um, she's trying to get crazy. I took, I think, technically I took six flights in one week because I had a connection. But whenever I fly, my skin literally is like, Rah, we hate you. But this is what I always put on as soon as I land. And I did this last night and it just dries everything up like, and if your face is super red after you put this on, don't fret because it pulls the blood to the surface of the skin and your face will cool down after you wash it off, after a little time goes by. This is a really, really amazing mask, like life-changing. Um, also, MAC Fix Plus, not really skincare, but it kind of is. And I've been using this for like 10 years now, so. <laughs> this is a great setting spray. It also will enhance your eyeshadow pigment. So I go ahead and give my shimmers a squirt with this and a pack them on. And uh, yeah, I love to set my makeup with this. Girl, I, use, I do everything with this, but drink it, okay? Don't drink it. My favorite skin serum is the Genesifique. Genifique? Genifique? Probably saying that wrong from Lancome. I got a little squirt left, but I got a refill. I went to the Lancome little holiday event and I, um, they gave me a refill in the bag and I was like, how did they know? <laughs> but I guess everybody loves it. This one's a little pricey, but it helps with texture and it even, I don't think it claims to help with acne or zits, but I swear to God, it helps. It helps with everything. You just gotta be consistent with it. I am very, very consistent with it. This is my third bottle of this. I'm about to move on to my fourth and it is a life changer. If you read the reviews of this on Sephora, people will tell their stories on how this has changed their skin. So if you're thinking about buying it, check out the reviews on Sephora and uh, yeah, do that. Um, now, if you are dealing with like major zits or a big one under the skin, 
and you need it to go away really quick. This I talked about last year as well, and I still stretch how much I love it, but this is the Origins Spot Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel. Now it's salicylic acid, but it's like a sh pretty strong dose. And what I think how this works so well is that it goes on clear. I put it, I had a knot right here, like a massive knot under the skin, and now look how tiny it is. And then this one right here was like out to it's like out to here <laughs> and now it's like so much better this is a lifesaver though um i put it on and it dries down really quick like almost suctioning the zit so that way when you go to sleep at night on your pillow it's not gonna wipe off it's still gonna be on there in the morning and i feel like because it like attaches itself to the zit it's actually able to penetrate the skin and like handle the problem and i think that's probably why it's so good because it doesn't come off unless you wipe it off also face wash new one that i've been loving because okay here's the thing I don't just put on like some mascara and a little blush girl she, she goes in deep with the makeup so taking my makeup off I, it can always be a little rough on my skin because I have so much to remove but this is the glow recipe blueberry bounce cleanser this is a makeup erasing deep cleanser this stuff can you see how thick it is look at that it is like jelly that comes out of here, but I, I give it a little pump and I do this with my hands and get it sudsy and then I go in and it will strip makeup off your face. So really great clean cleanser where I don't have to like do 20 pumps of a cleanser and go crazy on my face to get the makeup off. That removes makeup really well. My skin feels so clean and refreshed without it like feeling stripped of all its moisture with this product. So I really recommend if you're looking for a high-end face wash, Oh yeah. Guys, is this video gonna be like 40 minutes long? Lord Jesus, <gasps> I hope not. Uh, don't forget to check out Scentbird. Everything will be linked down below. Also, Victoria's Secret video, as well as the favorites uh, palette, best and worst palettes video will be linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Watch a little bit. Watching. I'm going to chill, edit this video, and I'm also going to, um, I don't know. Ask you to subscribe. Subscribe before you leave. And oh, I have indigestion from the hot Cheetos. <laughs> oh Lord, I need to get my life together. The gray hair. Um, okay. Lord Laura. What else do I have to tell you? I don't know. But I hope you guys have an amazing year. Um, I think I'm gonna be really cliche with this. New Year's resolution and want to eat healthier, but I just feel like that's so cliche. I'm like, do I want to do something cooler? I have a lot of things for my New Year's resolution, but that's just like one of them that I'm like kind of embarrassed about because I'm like, girl, this way everybody does. Find something original. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to try to eat somewhat healthier uh, this New Year's. Maybe if you guys want to leave me an easy, healthy meal down below, that might help me on my journey. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. This. This was my yearly favorite. If we're being 100. <laughs> I'm going to button my pants back now. <laughs> too much with you guys. I'm too much. I need to stop.